All right, so breaking news that happened last night. Giancarlo Esposito has been cast as George Washington Bridge in the MCU. His character is set to be introduced in the upcoming Captain America, the I Brave New World. We was just talking about that a video ago, and we was trying to figure out what can they do to make us intrigued about this. And I'm not going to lie, this character, when I read into the background of who this character is, this is like the perfect card to pull at this time in the MCU. Now, if you don't know, as I was before I did the research, who GW Bridge is in the MCU, let me break it down to you. The most key point that you probably would need to know when it comes to his character in the comics and his involvement in the upcoming film is this little synopsis right here. Occupation, he's an espionage agent, one of the Janus leaders, former director of S.H.I.E.L.D., acting a liaison on mutant affairs mercenary right key part mutant affairs what we was talking about in a previous episode was how the heck are we gonna watch captain america a brave new world and actually enjoy the concept of it following deadpool 3 and this is the perfect tie-in we're gonna see what the u.s government feels and how they're dealing with the incoming mutant wave in the mcu you know they did the blip that kind of had things going awry especially in falcon and a winter soldier having home uh, having families displaced and whatnot but it seems like the new add-in is the mutants now now i think where they're gonna go with it is by the individual who came back from the blimp kind of got their mutant genes alterated that's completely speculation but that would be an easy way to just shoehorn mutants in the world however it's still up in the air on how they're going to deal with the introductions of mutants have they been here the whole time or is this a new wave that's currently happening hence why it would have been hard for him to play professor x or magneto which some people wanted him to play in more pivotal roles like dr doom or whatnot give him something that he can chew on for the multiple films and not just this one film but i ain't gonna lie if they bring this character in and he's ever so likely in the shadows for like the upcoming films i'm with it and it gives him like this double-edged tone where he can be a like a great character like yeah he's for his country however he ain't rocking with any mutants it doesn't matter if you're x-men or brotherhood you gotta go which might serve well all right let's see what the um internet feel about it like i said some people's like should have been a major villain like dr doom if they would have cast him john carlo esposito as dr doom it would have been like 45 percent of the fan base started doing like that crazy race trade like why are you changing the color of everybody um magneto's supposed to be jewish stuff like that so you don't want to get to playing with those or freaking what's his name dr doom's supposed to be Lithuanian or some Russian offshoot. I don't even know what country he he's supposed to be. I think it's a f fictional country, but I don't know what uh, Doctor Doom is based on his country. Not so, not a bad guy. I think he's gonna be a great character. Uh, ooh, so a lot of people is kind of like uh confused on his his character. What he probably liked that, so he got kind of free range on how he's gonna play it. I hope he doesn't play it like he plays the character in The Boys. I doubt that, but, you know, it, it could possibly happen that way. Let's look more into the back history of George Washington Bridge. In history, George Washington was a member of a mercenary group called the Wild Pack, later known as the Six Pack, which was led by Cable. All right, so he got some uh, mutant ties in. The Six Packs was a decimated and assault on one of Strife's hidden bases. Bridge became a major, uh, became a major of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the early stages of X-Force. Bridge tracked Cable and tried to capture him. S.H.I.E.L.D. formed an alliance with Department K to fund a joint task force called Weapon Prime to bring Cable down, along with former six-pack members Kane and Grizzly, plus other recruits. So his introduction was, uh, task force first comic apparently and his whole goal was to find cable i mean you're gonna see uh he also was in oh the civil war and marvel during the civil war and shortly after bridge briefly became the leader of the six-pack again and was hired 
by the U.S. government to attack Roman Tuscan, a country which Cable had temporarily seized power in with the approval of the people and was trying to make a utopia before. Before scheduled free election began, cable attention was diverted by a nuclear explosion by the province. So the bridge and the six packs would could make their way covertly into the country as insurgents. Let's just stop there. Oh, so he's kind of an underworld type of character in the MCU. Again, I'm learning about this character as well as you. I just thought it would be kind of dope for us to both learn. I try to see if anybody made a uh, video about George Washington Bridge. And like his background, his origin story, but he's such a small character in the MCU. No one have done so yet, but you know, shout out to everything. Always. They are already starting to like plant the seeds of what this character is. Let's see if they found anything that we didn't find. His main directives after civil war was hunting the Punisher. And that's where I think the comments from Giancarlo Esposito come in about him showing up in Captain America, brave new world. And then from there having a quote unquote series is actually the future Punisher series where he'll be that'd be dope so they theorizing that he'll be um, kind of woven into the Punisher series that's set to be released as well as play these figured roles within like the MCU films like kind of tote both lines and I think him as an actor can kind of carry that character in Captain America Brave New World means it might be a while a year or so two years down the road before we see him again as the lead antagonist in that Punisher series that's again if I'm correct just like him we're all speculating on what it would actually look like with him being introduced to the MCU I know for a fact he's not an actor who kind of take roles for no reason and just for the money so he has to find some unique interesting concept that this character can do his tie in with the shield and I want to emphasize the mutant affairs I think that'd be kind of dope where he's kind of like this um, gray character where he can kind of be on the mutant sides until it doesn't benefit him like a dark side of like Nick Fury that's how I kind of interpret his background story to be but I think the MCU is gonna paint whatever character they want with him he, they're not gonna tie themselves to the concepts of the comics they just give us a uh, a sense of what tone it is but go ahead comment down below tell me if you are excited with this bit of news again this is just a 30 percent speculation it's very close to being actualized but you know mcu hasn't confirmed it yet we're still waiting to hear that out but until next time no what are you waiting for do, do it. it make your dreams Don't come true dreams just do it